15th century India, the entire country was in the midst of a great social quandary. Tantricism in its naked form accompanied by animal sacrifices and other vices got the upper hand. Casteism was dominant. A bulk of the population was treated as outcast and untouchables. The all-pervading God was locked inside the temple. At that critical moment of religious crisis, many saints arose in different parts of the country. Ramananda, Ravidas, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Vallabhacharya, Surdas, Mirabai, Kabir, Tulsidas, Namdev, Tyaneshwar, Tukaram, Annamacharya, Bhadrachala, Ramdas, Tyagraja were some of them who started a reforming movement, the Bhakti movement, a Hindu religious movement of the medieval period that promoted the belief that salvation was attainable by everyone. In the easternmost part of the country, this reforming movement was initiated by an Assamese polymath, a saint scholar, poet, playwright, social religious reformer, and a colossal figure in the cultural and religious history of Assam, Srimanta Shankardev. His bhakti derived inspiration from Bhagavad Puran and the practice of its teaching blossomed in the northeastern region of India through his literary works. The media of both music and drama were powerfully employed to win over the people to the teachings of the Bhagavata and through its numerous narratives, love and devotion for the one supreme God were instilled in the hearts of the people. His magnum opus is the Kirtana Kosha, a Bhakti Kavya par excellence, a work so popular that even today it is found in nearly every household in Assam. It contains narrative verses glorifying Krishna, not considered to be an incarnation of God, but as the primary cause of all incarnations.